Psalm 123 I lift up my eyes to you, to you who sit enthroned in heaven. As the eyes of slaves look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a female slave look to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God till he shows us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us, for we have endured no end of contempt. We have endured no end of ridicule from the arrogant, of contempt from the proud. Psalm 124 If the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel say, If the Lord had not been on our side when people attacked us, they would have swallowed us alive when their anger flared against us. The flood would have engulfed us, the torrent would have swept over us, the raging waters would have swept us away. Praise be to the Lord, who has not let us be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the fowler's snare. The snare has been broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Psalm 125 Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken but endures for ever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people both now and for evermore. The scepter of the wicked will not remain over the land allotted to the righteous, for then the righteous might use their hands to do evil. Lord, do good to those who are good, to those who are upright in heart. But those who turn to crooked ways, the Lord will banish with the evildoers. Peace be on Israel. Ephesians Ephesians Chapter 1 Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to God's holy people in Ephesus, the faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ, in accordance with his pleasure and will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and understanding, he made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ to be put into effect when the times reach their fulfillment, to bring unity to all things in heaven and on earth under Christ. In him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will, in order that we, who were the first to put our hope in Christ, might be for the praise of his glory. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are in God's possession, to the praise of his glory. For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all God's people, I have not stopped giving thanks for you remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted 
when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under his feet, and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. Proverbs chapter 20 Wine is a mocker, and beer a brawler. Whoever is led astray by them is not wise. A king's wrath strikes terror like the roar of a lion. Those who anger him forfeit their lives. It is to one's honour to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. Sluggards do not plough in season, so at harvest time they look but find nothing. The purposes of a person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight draws them out. Many claim to have unfailing love, but a faithful person who can find? The righteous lead blameless lives. Blessed are their children after them. When a king sits on his throne to judge, he winnows out all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have kept my heart pure, I am clean and without sin? Differing weights and differing measures, the Lord detests them both. Even small children are known by their actions, so is their conduct really pure and upright? Ears that hear and eyes that see, the Lord has made them both. Do not love sleep, or you will grow poor. Stay awake, and you will have food to spare. It's no good, it's no good, says the buyer. Then goes off and boasts about the purchase. Gold there is, and rubies in abundance, but lips that speak knowledge are a rare jewel. Take the garment of one who puts up security for a stranger. Hold it in pledge if it is done for an outsider. Food gained by fraud tastes sweet, but one ends up with a mouth full of gravel. Plans are established by seeking advice, so if you wage war, obtain guidance. A gossip betrays a confidence, so avoid anyone who talks too much. If someone curses their father or mother, their lamp will be snuffed out in pitch darkness. An inheritance claimed too soon will not be blessed at the end. Do not say, I'll pay you back for this wrong. Wait for the Lord, and he will avenge you. The Lord detests differing weights, and dishonest scales do not please him. A person's steps are directed by the Lord. How then can anyone understand their own way? It is a trap to dedicate something rashly, and only later to consider one's vows. A wise king winnows out the wicked. He drives the threshing wheel over them. The human spirit is the lamp of the Lord that sheds light on one's inmost being. Love and faithfulness keep a king safe. Through love, his throne is made secure. The glory of young men is their strength, grey hair the splendour of the old. Blows and wounds scrub away evil, and beatings purge the inmost being. <laughs>